Welcome back. Today let's look at section 3.10 derivatives of inverse trig functions and we're going to start with number 7. And number 7 asks us to find the derivative of the function f of x equals sine inverse of 2x. Okay, so this basically boils down to being a chain rule problem, but uh, before we look at the chain rule problem, we really should ask the question, okay, so what if f of x were just sine inverse of x, not of 2x, then what would the derivative be? Well, in this case, we know that the derivative of sine inverse of x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So what this tells me is if I take the derivative of sine inverse of something, it's going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus that something squared. And that's what I have to remember when I'm taking the derivative over here, is if I want to take the derivative of sine inverse of something, then the derivative f prime of x is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus that something, which in this case is 2x squared. But now because we didn't just have an x here, we had a 2x, we need to multiply this thing by the derivative of the inside function. And the derivative of 2x, of course, is 2. So we multiply this by 2, and we have our derivative. 